I'm at the Douglas County Assessor's Office because I know you're concerned about your property taxes for next year. The number of calls and emails we've received are historic. This is a complex topic. There's a lot of moving pieces. We don't have the answers yet, but we're gonna start with basic property taxes 101. The 2023 reappraisal is the most impactful reassessment we've ever had. In Douglas County, homeowners received increases between 30 and 60%. What's different about this reappraisal is we are accounting for the market change in the residential real estate market between June of 2020 and June of 2022, which is the largest increase in a two year period in the history of Colorado. People moving here had cash and were able to bid $100,000 higher than the asking price. And interest rates, of course, were at a historic low. From a property tax point of view, it really was a perfect storm because we have these increases that are happening as a result of the reappraisal. And at the same time, the Gallagher Amendment was repealed in 2020. Now it started off with without increasing taxes. So they voted for it. And what happened is that mechanism that was in place that kept property taxes from rising exponentially went away. So now there is no break to keep property taxes from going sky high. Colorado voters will decide the future of state property taxes. Lawmakers passed a bill yesterday just before the legislative session ended. You may have heard that relief is on the way in the form of Senate Bill 303. For the average Douglas County homeowner, that only provides a 10% decrease on a very significant increase that's already happening. I don't know about you, but I don't call that relief. In what universe did Colorado voters vote to repeal the Gallagher Amendment? And who's, who sold them that bill of goods? Voting it down was a result of a misleading statement in the ballot. This is disgusting. It's a failure of government on so many levels. The legislature and all the other people involved in it have, have abandoned us, have, have made it so complicated we can't understand it. We've had a historic number of people ask the commissioners for help. And as much as we want to help as a county commissioner, we don't have the authority to change this property tax question. It needs to be addressed by the state legislature. It's the legislature who has control over property tax policy decisions, and we need them to make a decision. It's really important to know that when you write your check to the Douglas County Treasurer for property taxes, that money does not go into Douglas County coffers, but gets distributed to all of the taxing entities that service your property at your location. That money goes to places like the library district, the school district, Mile High Flood Control District. There are metro districts that take a piece of that. We even have a cemetery district in Douglas County. So there's lots of entities that provide services to us and we then pay them for those services after you write a check to the Douglas County Treasurer. So if you want to learn more about your property taxes, here's where you can start. Go to your computer and search for Douglas Assessor. A page will come up and you can type in your address. Your property will come up, scroll a little ways down and on the left, you'll see a bar that says tax authorities. Click on that. A screen will come up that shows all the entities that you pay tax to. You'll learn how many mills you pay to each one of them and what the cash you paid to each one for 2023. It's a great place to start, and this education is gonna take all of us probably the next six months.